Joey Chitwood's Speed and Thrill Spectacular, our presentation of automotive artistry, a composite of driving skill, handling techniques, and planned crash research that we know that you'll enjoy from beginning to end. And now on signal from Joey Chitwood, it's action. Drivers to their cars. In true Indianapolis tradition, gentlemen, start your engines. This is Chris Schenkel reporting on the world of the thrill drivers. Thrill shows are a noisy, action-packed world, full of drama, where day after day and night after night, men make their living by staging the impossible and surviving the incredible. In automotive mastery and quick reflexive skill. Directing your attention to the car approaching on your left. And the other from your right with a combined force of well over a hundred miles an hour. Now let's see how that looks from inside the car. You know, thrill shows are as much a part of a big fair as the magical atmosphere of dancing neon lights. But behind this world of showtime thrills is another world. Ordinary people in an extraordinary profession. Always on the go. 200 performances in 150 days in almost as many different places. Always loading and unloading, sometimes six, even seven times in a single week. yet always taking the necessary time to set up each stunt with the care that maximum safety demands. For every driver, checking his equipment is a major and continuing preoccupation. For safety first is the name of this game and the number one rule in this business. Don't take a chance is the credo by which a professional stunt driver, you might say, continues to live. He is never careless of his own life or the lives of others. Behind every thrilling stunt are the skill and technical knowledge of men dedicated to playing it safe. For example, the ride through fire. Slow motion photography Let's us see how a train driver knows exactly what speed to travel, exactly when to shift back in his seat, exactly when to duck his head. The flaming wall shatters without forming splinters, without spattering blazing fuel on the driver. Again, the result of careful planning and design. Another example. A unique demonstration possible only with the best in cars and drivers. The ramp must be just the right height to tip the car on its side and no farther. Once up on two wheels, it takes the professional skill of a thoroughly trained driver to pull the trick off. Lightning reflexes, unusual sense of balance, exceptional coordination. The driver uses his free hand to give him an immediate and sensitive feel of any shifting in balance as he steers down the track. And very few have all of what it takes to perform the stunt successfully. You know, if motorists on four wheels were as careful as these daredevils on two, as aware of the road, their cars, and themselves, driving on the highway would be safer for all of us. Another example, and a favorite feature of the thrill show, precision driving. No wonder insiders call it hell driving. 
Here's a spectacular traffic jam on the move that is safe only under absolutely controlled driving conditions. It looks dangerous and is supposed to. That's part of the fun. But each driver knows exactly where he's supposed to be at any given moment. And what is the result of days, weeks, and months of careful planning and seemingly endless training? Showtime and some of the most thrilling and chilling action ever seen at your favorite fair. It's true precision artistry and high-speed action, the ultimate in control as they utilize the full width length of the stretch, scissoring high side low and low side high. It's high-speed touch and go, striking elevations, changing sequence over elevations one, two, and three, high and low, low and high. An occasional tap of the brake and frequent bursts from those high-performance engines, utilizing both for control and safety. Presenting next the blazing barrier crash. The cyclist performing this dead level feat is in the far turn. Joey ignites the gasoline soaked inferno. Here he comes, head down. And now making that turn and returning in front of the grandstand for that congratulatory handshake and your appreciation for a job well done. Next, the ultimate in coordination, control, and balance. Now taking a car up on two wheels and holding, 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 maintaining that point of balance. Now launching the number two car. Now he's holding it, holding, holding, and down now safely on all four wheels. And now in the grandstand. Let's hear that fine reception for an outstanding presentation by both precision, control, and balance. Ladies and gentlemen, next presenting on the raceway, a performance of sheer high-speed friction. I'm speaking of the slide for life. Mounting the rear bumper now is another of our devils, making his initial appearance on the track this evening. They'll be moving around the race course and accelerating to a speed near 50 miles an hour. Now moving out of that turn down in front of the grandstand. He is cutting loose, moving down that stretch beautifully. It looks like a nice prolonged slide as he maintains that pivotal balance and is unaided back on his feet making his way up the raceway again for that reception from each and every one of you in the grandstand. We just had word from Joey that there is a bad thunderstorm approaching, and we are going to move as rapidly as possible in giving you all of the events in our show. The next event is that ever-thrilling ramp-to-ramp jump. The men are checking now. The men in blue have set the elevations, and Joey Chitwood will give that all clear after we have complete alignment of the elevations. This is from takeoff to receiving elevation, and it is a distance uh, of some 85 odd feet through space, taking them in an arc uh, some 25 feet above the ground. Smitty now dons his crash helmet. It looks like a go. He's making his way now to the car utilized for this event. That last minute word with him, he'll be in behind the wheel, secure that seat belt, the only safety precaution used in addition to the crash helmet that he has already done, and he begins his slow move away. A check visually of the elevations, he'll be in toward takeoff, and here he is, sailing that distance and slamming down on receiving a feather touchdown. The acceleration mode now, and that's the Remove the body from that car. And now in stripped down mode, another of our dead behind the wheel fires it up. He'll be moving around the raceway in the same pattern, the same takeoff elevation, the same distance through space. And here he is, airborne, and a long completely clearing that receiving elevation, clearing down the track itself. Back in front of the stands and moving directly into the pit area. The threatening inclement weather continues. You're welcome to move from the bleachers into the grandstand to get out of that weather if you so desire. Now the X-1 space rocket propulsion shot. Tolerance is here involved in an inch and a half on either side as they enter the breach area of the X-1-2. 
Joey Jr. behind the wheel, makes his way around the raceway. That critical moment approaches the breach area. He's in! Slamming down on receiving beautifully, decelerating and into the turn. now that we're beginning to be pelted with that rain and we ask you to move from the bleachers into the covered grandstand to get out of that weather. Directing your attention, ladies and gentlemen, to the elevation erected down the raceway to your right and it looks like we will have a go condition for this final presentation, the T-bone crash. The men are setting now the elevations uh, properly. That last moment of alignment, moving a bit to the left. We have an all clear signal, and now a last minute conference, because it's going to utilize every bit of stamina, courage, and ability that Smitty has to offer to present this event and come through with success. And only when we have this margin of safety in our favor do we present it. It's a hand pass from Joey Chitwood and a go condition as Smitty fires it up. He's making his way down this rain slick raceway in toward that elevation. Perry is moving down that stretch, gaining speed all the way. Can he get on that elevation? He is beautiful. Perry completely through that initial car. Yes, indeed. The most evident thing you're going to see on the raceway now is an ever present smile on the raceway. Make and sound. Living proof that you can do the impossible if you know how to go about it. Let's give them a big hand. That concludes our presentation. Good night to all. This is Chris Shankle again. One last word. The place for automobile adventuring is in a thrill show, not on the highway. Remember, in your driving, wherever it may be, what a thrill driver must remember. Know your car, know the road, know yourself. Don't take a chance. Thank <laughs> you.